The first three episodes of ReZero Season 2 were very impressive, but Episode 4 was on a completely different level. This was definitely the best episode so far this season, and probably one of the best episodes of anime in general this entire year. A problem a lot of people have with the Sekai is that the main character often ignores their previous life as soon as they enter the new world. And that's a trope that kinda makes the genre feel unrealistic at times. Having an MC that doesn't seem to miss their friends and family at all is certainly grounds for criticism in my opinion. But for an Isekai to actually address this issue is extremely rare. And in this week's episode, ReZero once again demonstrates that it is absolutely not a stereotypical Isekai. Subaru wakes up in Japan and pretty much acts like he never even left. Everything's exactly the same as before, including his breakfast. But the reason he's acting so casual is actually because he doesn't remember he's in the trial. However, during his heart-to-heart -heart conversation with his father, Subaru has an epiphany and remembers everything, including all the mental development he's gained as a result of living in ReZero. The Subaru from Japan struggled to live up to his father's reputation and eventually gave up on everything. But as we saw in Season 1, Rem and Amelia were able to help Subaru overcome the internal conflict that restricted him in his previous life. So now that the new and improved Subaru is back in Japan, his outlook on life and his mindset are completely different than before. The old Subaru gave up and stopped going to school entirely, but after breaking through his mental barriers, his desire to go to school returned and his desire to give up vanished. The act of finally going back to school meant that Subaru had overcome his past self, and I believe that's why Ekidona was waiting for him in the classroom. The classroom was essentially the finish line in Subaru's race to face his past. So all along, the goal of the trial was to go back to school, but the school itself was basically just a metaphor the whole time. This episode showed us exactly how much Subaru has changed since the first episode of Season 1. It shows us who he used to be, as well as who he's become. What this trial was really testing was whether or not Subaru had retained all the development he got in Season 1. And considering the results, I think it's obvious that he was successful. Anyway, his mom follows him to chat a little bit on his way to school, and can I just say that Subaru's parents are seriously the best? They are such great parents, and I cannot stress enough how important it was for Subaru to say goodbye to them. As we saw in the flashback, Subaru left without saying bye to his mom, and I can just imagine the mental toll that must have taken on him. So even if it's just in the trial, being able to say goodbye to them probably helped Subaru's mental state tremendously. And yes, I definitely cried during this scene, even though I knew it was coming, so if anyone else cried, please let me know, because I would hate to be the only one. And I'd also like to remind everyone watching this to tell your parents you love them as often as you can, because you really never know when someone might get transported to another world. And by the way, if anyone still thinks Rem or Amelia is best girl, don't forget that it was Ekidona who gave Subaru the opportunity to say goodbye to his parents. And yes, once again, we are left with another Dona cliffhanger. Right at the end of the episode, it's revealed that she's been in the classroom this whole time, patiently waiting for Subaru to return to school, which again is just a symbol for overcoming his past. Now, the most interesting detail in this entire episode is actually the fact that Ekidona is able to appear in the trials, meaning that she now knows that Subaru came from another world. I think that's a pretty big deal if you ask me. The ending visuals were also incredible, as expected. I love the butterfly theme, and I'm happy that Dona's been getting the spotlight. I think my favorite part was right at the end when the lighting changes from green to red. It just looks so amazing, and it makes me want the next episode to hurry up and air already. And by the way guys, as a novel reader, this episode was pretty much a perfect adaptation. They cut like basically nothing from this, so I think the novel readers and the anime onlys can finally both agree that this episode was phenomenal. 
Overall, I'd probably give it like a 13 out of 10. I'd say my only complaint is that they skipped the opening again, but truthfully, who gives a fuck? I could just watch the opening on YouTube if I want, so I'd much rather get an extra minute of the actual episode. Also, when the opening being skipped is the only complaint I can come up with, that's probably a sign that the show's doing pretty good. Surprisingly, even the Crunchyroll subs were decent this time around. Everything is just going great, and I'm so happy my favorite show is getting the adaptation it deserves. Anyway guys, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoy these episode reviews, give the video a like to support me, and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell or whatever so you'll be notified when I make another vid. But I'm out for now. Keep talking about ReZero, guys. Leave a comment. Peace out.